Hello and welcome to my conservatory observatory at Area 79. It's 30th of July 2017, about 11pm, and I'm imaging the uh, Crescent Nebula tonight. I've got PhD guiding on my stars, on a star, uh, doing a fairly good job, and I'm using EOS utilities for capturing my images. I'm doing four minute exposures at ISO 800. They're coming out quite good. I'm really quite pleased with what I'm capturing so far. Another one just about to download, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, very nice. So far I've got seven. You can see the first couple are a little bit lighter. There's, a, there's still a little bit of tiny bit of daylight in the uh, sky. There is a bit of a moon up there as well. Just shining through the trees now. Fortunately it's behind a tree. So it's not causing us too much of a problem. So I intend in getting around about 30, maybe 40 of these light frames, add in darks and flats and bias frames, stacking and processing tomorrow. And, uh, Hopefully we'll come out with a good result. We shall see. Telescope's just outside. We won't be able to see it obviously because it's nice and dark out there. That's the skin sin scan head handset. You can see glowing there. Uh, street light over there. It's pretty dark now, so the moon's safe. The moon's not too much of a problem. The time is now five past one. I've changed my plans a little bit. I've instead of staying at four minutes, so I've, so I've been playing about with um, some six minutes. As it got darker, and uh, then I tried my luck with ten minutes, which I don't know if I've overdone it. We shall find out. But I've got a couple of ten minutes, and I'm going to get an hour of six minutes. I'm back on the six minutes now, and then. I'm going to call it a night. Okay, I've collected all my data from the Crescent Nebula, which was about an hour and 50 minutes of 240 second exposures, about an hour and 50 minutes of 360 seconds, and a couple of 600 seconds. I stacked them in Deep Sky Stacker with flats, darks, and bias frames. Uh, now, Open Star Tools, selected my file, and as it's taken with a DSLR, it's a bayard and not white balanced. So we select that option. Okay. So for the purpose of this, purpose of this video, I'm going to bin 35%. Normally with four hours of data, I would choose a 71%, but 35% is going to be quicker to process, so we'll keep that. I'm not expecting too much noise on this. There's a fair amount of DSLRs and light pollution areas, but, you know, we can deal with that. So I need to auto-develop to see 
roughly what I've got um, any stacking artifacts um, so we're going to keep that and now we're going to crop out any artifacts so just take a few pixels off the edge like so, so all the artifacts are cropped out which looks good so we're going to keep that next thing we do is we wipe the gradients so choose auto develop you've got to be a bit careful here with the settings because you can lose a lot of detail by raising the dark anomaly too high even the aggressiveness so we'll do it as preset <clears throat> Looks quite good, but see if I up the dock on numbers, it can. Uh, there's a lot of colour that you're losing. You're starting to lose some of the nebulosity. So we'll try two. more gases showing up so I'm going to reduce the aggressiveness a little bit and see if that makes much of a difference yeah I quite like that and reduce that back down to one that's good that's a good start so we'll keep that <coughs> Now we're going to develop the image and we'll do a redo global stretch. I always drop the gamma down by 10 and then home in and it all starts to appear. I'm going to raise this up to about 94%. You know, it's a little bit overexposed at the moment, but. Now we use the dark anomaly filter to take out a bit of the glare which again don't overdo it and now raise the gamma a little bit try three oh, now I'm quite happy with that it's looking pretty good so we'll keep that <coughs> 